G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Today we're heading back in time, that's right, we're going old school. We're having a look at a 1971 Motor Guzzi V7 Special with a 750 engine in it. It's having some charging problems. So let's check it out together. The customer has just bought in the generator, that's right, it's a generator, not an alternator, off this motor guzzy. He's had it checked out by an auto electrician elsewhere. They couldn't make up their mind if the generator was okay or not, or if the regulator was faulty or not, so I'm going to try and check it out for him. This is a little bit different from me, but as you know, I do some research, so let's figure this out together. The customer has bought in his service manual, as you can see. So there's the little beast there. I don't actually have the bike here. I'm just doing testing on the generator. So let's have a look at the generator. Considering it's on a motorbike, it's actually quite big. I've got my steel rule out here and we're looking at uh, just the frame itself, about 170 centimetres. It's actually quite large. So yeah, she's uh, not like they are nowadays. They're quite small uh, with alternators, etc. But this is a heavy sucker. How do we test a generator? The two connections that we're concerned with today are our DF as well as our D+. This one, no doubt, will be our uh, field winding. And this one here will be our output, which will go through to a light on the dash. How do we test it? A basic generator is the same construction as a starter motor. How can I prove that? Check this out. This is really cool. For starters, all I'm going to do is connect my field winding to my output wire output wires here just using a single cable and we'll get that out the road there put him across to there those two are now connected next I get a 12 volt battery and I hook up my negative to um, any old earth over here should be right then from the positive side of my battery I simply filled it out so that indicates as you can hear it's not real crash hot but it indicates that the thing is working how well is it working though? That's another test. I've now got my multimeter hooked up as you can see. I've got it on the DC voltage range. I'm now going to hook up my red lead to the field winding which is over here but that's connected to my output and it's convenient to go right onto there like that. With my negative lead over here we'll stick it onto what? Yes that's right, negative. That's now ready to be set up and give us some beans. I'm going to do that via my cordless rattle gun. It does enough RPM for it. Let's stick it on the front there as you can see and have a look at this voltage over here. I'm not going to run it too long. You don't want to get it too hot um, but just to proof of concept that this generator is okay. Let's spin it up and see what we're producing over here. Okay. So that got up to about 16.8 volts, something along those lines. This generator has enough output. We can regulate it, of course, through a regulator, but this is full fielding it. Um, but have a listen. Doesn't sound healthy, does it? So the customer has asked me to rebuild this uh, with brushes and bushes, whatever's necessary. He's quite happy to get that done. The question remains, what is causing his charge light to come on? That's a completely different issue. If I get that job, I'll keep you up to date. Many, many minutes later. I've gone ahead and rebuilt this generator. I didn't actually film the entire process, but I ended up mainly doing the bearings. It's a, a 6201 and a 6202. They were the main problems with it. Um, I tidied up the brushes. They were okay. One of the major issues that I had was that it had a seized woodruff key. I ended up having to drill it out. That's how bad it was eventually got it out, then couldn't find the correct size Woodruff key locally, so I ended up uh, modifying one to get it to uh, fit into the key. It was a perfect fit, so I have no issues with that whatsoever. But now that it's put back together, obviously I want to check my work and make sure that I've done it all right. So we've got the same setup here once again. We've got our field and our, uh, our uh, light wire connected together and also I've hooked up my multimeter as per normal. So you can see it over to the side here. We'll just crank it up and make sure that I have got it right and I've got my voltages coming through. Yeah. 
Okay, 17 volts, that's good enough in my books. I'll leave this video here for now, guys, because I'm gonna check the regulator, but I'll do that as a separate video. I hope this provided some information for testing generators, full fielding them so that you can figure out if your generator is for schnookered or not. In this case, all good, just needed a bit of a, a rebuild, a bit of a tidy up, but it's okay. I hope you got something from this video today, guys, and it's helpful for you. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget about that notification bell. You don't wanna miss any future videos. So until next time, guys, this is Miracle Max signing off. I will catch you later.